guys, in this video, we're gonna learn about follow options in Harrison Mixbus 32C version eight. In the bundled content, I found some shuffle grooves. So let's pull a few in and see how you can use these follow options to switch between different fills and different grooves. So here's my shuffle 1A. Okay, that sounds good. So when I drag it over, it's gonna create a new Q track and puts it in slot A up at the top. And I know I already want some fills to mess with, so let's go ahead and throw some of these in. So there's a ride and a crash groove. Let's just put this on E. Now that we have some slots filled up, let's see what options we have. If we click on a clip, we can see the follow options down here on the bottom. We can change the follow count and also the follow length. And we can set what action we want to trigger at the end of the clip. So right now it's set to again. So if I play this clip, it's just going to keep repeating. Okay, so there it went for a second time. And if we click here, we can see we have the option to have none, stop, again, reverse, forward, and jump. So if I choose forward, it's naturally gonna go down to the next slot, which is gonna be a fill. So let's check that out. Okay, that worked as it should. Problem is this is a 16 bar phrase and it needs to be a 12 bar phrase. So I make room for the fill that's four bars at the end and therefore making it a full 16 bar phrase with the initial groove and a drum fill. So let's go down here to follow length and we're gonna change this to 12. Because a four bar phrase has 16 beats. We wanna make it a three bar phrase for the initial groove and then another bar which is four beats for the fill. So now check it out. And now the problem is the fill keeps repeating. So now we just have to tell it what we want it to do. And in this case, we're gonna use the jump option to jump back to A. As you can see, we have two fills here, and maybe I just want a more random selection so it feels like a natural player is actually playing these drums. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to my clip A, go to jump, and then go to multi. And then from there, I can choose the two slots I want this to pick from. Let's make sure this last slot is going back to A, and then let's press play on the top slot here. So it took it a few tries to get to that option C down there, but eventually it did get to it. So if you like that random response, that's just an option you can choose from. Okay, let's go down here and let's see what this other shuffle is. So let's say this is like our B section of the song and this is more of like our A section. So what we can do now, instead of having these go back to A, I can tell them to go down to E. And that's gonna naturally transition into our B section. And then from there, we can choose multi and choose any number of these drum fills right here. And we can make these drum fills go back to A. So that way we naturally jump from our verse down to our chorus and then back to our verse again. Okay, so let's play this slot E right here. And once again, I forgot, I need to make this 12 beats instead of 16 beats. So there we go, let's listen one more time.
So that sets up a good verse in the chorus section. And now I can just grab an instrument and start playing along. Okay, let's do the same thing, but now let's play with some piano chords. Let's go to G major, and I'm gonna make a chord progression that I can play along with. So let's choose D, E minor, G, and C. And let's do the same thing with this D chord here. Let's go ahead and make it six beats. I want the E minor to be only two beats long. Then my G is going to be four, and my C is going to be four. Then we can just tell the follow action to go forward. Then when we get to C, we can tell it to go back to the A section again. Now let's launch row A by hitting the Q button. Okay, that worked out pretty good. You heard the drums change, even though the chords stayed the same. Now we can do the same thing with the actual progression. Let's go in here and let's find something that we can use. So let's now choose a one, five, six, four, and start from the beginning here and see how it changes. All right, guys, so that is how you use follow options in version 8. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.